a discussion on this in the parliamentary well we quickly shifting our focus to a breaking input now this is cnn news 18's mega exclusive nawaz sharif is likely to return to, uh, in september according to what shahbaz sharif has confirmed according to the exclusive input by our uh, editor manoj gupta well uh, the inputs suggest that uh, nawaz sharif is likely to return in september according to what shahbaz sharif has said now the cnn news 18 report is an in, reports in an interview to pakistan tv channel Uh, saying that uh, the pm shahbaz sharif told that nawaz sharif is coming next month in september now the caretaker government won't be a problem for him he also added saying that nawaz will be facing the law and will lead the campaign for the next elections he also said that nawaz will be the prime minister if the pm ln wins the elections this time now cnn news 18 earlier also reported that nawaz sharif Uh, Sharif was uh, coming to Pakistan in September after the retirement of the president CGP and his retirement is due to by the September 17th and immediately after that Nawaz Sharif is expected to come back and get relief from the court in Panama cases Now uh, we are moving across to a political reaction on this let's take a look okay. इंशाल्लाह कि वो अल्लाह शाह तो अगले महीने पाकिस्तान तशरीफ ले आएंगे अगले महीने आ जाएंगे ये तो आपने बहुत बड़ी खबर दे दी है इंशाल्लाह तो वो जो निगरान हुकूमत होगी वो उनके लिए कोई मसला तो नहीं क्रिएट करेगी वो कानून को फेस करेंगे मियां नवाज शरीफ साहब ये मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ कानून को फेस करेंगे ना वो टोप पहनेंगे ना कोई बाल्टी पहनेंगे ना कोई जादू टूना ना कोई दरू ना कोई ये फूके चूके कुछ नहीं होगा वो आके अपना कानून का सामना करें और जो इंतजामी मुहिम होगी उसमें भी हिस्सा लेंगे इन शाह तो उसको लीड करेंगे मियाँ नवाज शरीफ साहब वो लीड करेंगे आपने तो उनको चौथी दफा का प्राइम मिनिस्टर भी डिक्लेयर कर दिया अगर अल्लाह को मंजूर हुआ हाँ। हमारी पार्टी ने अगर इलेक्शन जीता तो मैं जल्दी कर रही तो नवाज शरीफ हमारे अपने तो अगर वो वजीर आजम बन गए तो फिर आप उनके वजीर खारजा होंगे उनका मैं कारकुन बन के काम करूंगा Well joining me on the broadcast to get us more detailed information is my colleague Abhishek Jha a very good morning Abhishek well uh, help us understand that after Pakistan's parliament was formally dissolved and the latest input on Nawaz Sharif's return to the uh, return to the country in the month of September are we still looking at uh, uh, the delay in the elections for the country Uh, of course uh, see uh, nawaz sharif happens to be one of the tallest and uh, currently the government the coalition government that is leading uh, and shahbaz sharif is pinning their hope of coming back to power in this uh, coming general election uh, once nawaz sharif is back because his popularity uh, his astute political sense is something that shahbaz sharif has been uh, you know getting even now the the last government that he has been leading uh, for almost like one uh, little more than one year uh, it has been said that nawaz sharif was uh, clearly uh, giving his uh, suggestions and many more po major policy decisions were being handled by nawaz sharif sitting in london in fact uh, recently uh, about the caretaker prime minister it was believed that uh, uh, mr uh, the the ppp party's uh, chief uh, asif ali zadari and nawaz sharif had a meeting in uh, switzerland where they decided how to deal with imran khan issue and how to uh, you know put some uh, legal action against him so that his opposition and his political campaigning against the incoming government can be contained uh, and also they discuss about the uh, upcoming new uh, caretaker prime minister because he has to be a neutral prime minister and doesn't have to be a tilted or biased uh, person in uh, to any political party or any uh, family so clearly uh, nawaz sharif is is one of the tallest leader and now he has confirmed to cnn news it in also that in the upcoming general election that is going to be held uh, somewhere this year or maybe that can spill over uh, to the next year also because of the certain uh, legal condition that election commission of pakistan has to furnish it has to delimit certain uh, cases certain constituencies uh, so uh, and uh, also the legal hassle that has been one of the biggest roadblock in nawaz sharif coming back to pakistan uh, main major supreme senior, senior most supreme court judge bandial is going to retire in mid september and he has been uh, one judge who has given some favorable decision in the past to imran khan also so it was believed that if he stays there uh, probably 
the legal uh, options uh, of Nawaz Sharif returning back to Pakistan were very limited. But uh, after his retirement, probably some legal changes could be done uh, where uh, a, 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 a way can be created where Nawaz Sharif would be returning back to Pakistan, taking part in political campaign, charges against him will be quashed, and he will have major legal spy to lead his party uh, in the political campaign in the upcoming general election. All right. Thank you so much, Abhishek, for all the inputs. Well, the political crisis continues to intensify in Pakistan and uh, Shabazz Sharif's return. Um, I beg your pardon. Nawaz Sharif's return has been confirmed by Shabazz Sharif. Well, we'll continue to see and track the implications of this political crisis and the current scenario in the neighboring country. Well, it's time to slip into a very short break. We'll be right back with more news and updates on the other side. Stay tuned.